the same computer, you make everything. Then science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Easy to comprehend. Assimilating, fun, and entertaining. Just to increase your interest. Now, we have done a bit of um, addition and subtraction, multiplication and division of fraction initially. But at a very basic level, we have also moved a bit higher in that of multiplication. I have observed that addition and subtraction looks a bit difficult or more tasking and needs more concentration than addition and multiplication of fraction or three fraction. So, I just want to point out something. You know, in our fraction, when you have seven plus three over eight plus six, you know, it's the same thing as seven plus three over eight plus six times three. You understand? So, this everything here is ten, and everything here is fourteen. So, it is not something you can just say, okay, let me deal with this one in the front and leave the one in the back. Later on, I come and do that. One. No, that is why it's a bit. More, it requires more ingenuity, more interest, more work, so that you'll be able to get the tricks of handling that of addition and subtraction more. In this one we are doing, I will do a bit of addition and subtraction. We will do the mixture of addition, subtraction, division, and multiplication later. Please just follow me. Let's start with these few questions. We have just, we have some here. Later we will do a bit. This one's are just addition. This one, uh, yeah, I think this one is division here. Yeah. This one's addition and division. Addition, subtraction. So let's deal with the addition in your form. The simple one. 3y divided by y minus 1 plus 5y over y plus 1. You know, just like I just pointed out, you are not deal with just one of these and leave the one behind. Everything must be taken as a whole. So, the first thing is to look for possible LCM. And in this case, the easiest way is to multiply this. So, we have y minus 1 into y plus 1. Now, since this is the LCM, we use this one to divide it and bring out the um, remaining. So, we have 3y into y plus 1 plus 5y y minus 1. Because this one from here is going to give us y minus 1. So we have to expand the numerator now. And that is 3y squared plus 3y plus 5y squared minus 5y divided by y minus 1 over y plus 1. And times y plus 1. Okay? So we are going to have oh, this one is 5y squared. We are going to have 8y squared minus 2y divided by y minus 1 into y plus 1. Now, so this one will give us, factorizing this, will give us 2y into 4y minus 1 over y minus 1 into y plus 1. There is nothing we can call the gate. As it is. So we need the answer as that. Now let's do this one. We have the first question that says 3y over y squared minus 1 plus 5y over y plus 1. Now, this one, this one, let's break this one. You will see that this is a factor of this one. y squared minus 1 is y plus 1 into y minus 1. That is this one. Difference of 2 squared. This one here is 1. So we multiply this one by 1. That's 3y. Plus y plus 1 in this one is going to give us y minus 1. So we are going to have y minus 1 into 5y. So that one is going to give us 3y plus 5y squared minus 5y divided by y plus 1 into y minus 1. So what does that give? On the expand on, you know, working the one, the numerator, we are going to have 5y squared minus 2y now divided by y plus 1 into y minus 1. So what does that give? It gives us y into 5y minus 2 divided by y plus 1 into y minus 1. So you can see, 
you just need to use your knowledge from different aspects of mathematics. Here we are, we are using quadratic, knowledge of quadratic. Now, the next one is this. We have a y, a y squared minus x squared minus y over x minus y. Now, look at this. This one is also a factor of this. But in the, okay, to make it even simpler, let's change the other. It's going to be 3y over y squared minus x squared. Multiplying this one by minus 1. It's going to be minus into minus 1 times y over y minus 1, eh, minus x. I multiply this one by minus, so it gives me this. So it makes my work easier now. So it's going to be 3y plus y, 3y over y squared minus x squared plus y over y minus x. So you can see. Now, this, let's break it. The out here is going to be y plus y minus x. That's it. Very easy and straightforward. Now, this one is going to be 3y times 1. Plus y. This one here is going to be y plus x into y plus x. So you can see how easy it came out. So we are going to have 3y plus y squared plus yx divided by y plus x into y Now, let me give you another 
another thing. Once you have a question, calm down and look at what you can easily extract from it. Look at this one. I have two a plus one over a squared minus four plus a minus one over a minus two plus a over two minus a. You know that one can easily give me two a plus one over a plus two into a minus two plus a minus one over a minus two. You know to make this one like this too. I just change this one by putting minus here into a minus two. I believe you understand what I did now. I've done it. This is the third time I'm doing it in this session. Now. <clears throat> Our LCM now is going to be A plus A into A minus 2. This one here is 1. So I can just write 2A plus 1. Here is it. This one here is A plus 2 plus A minus 1 into A plus 2. Here, this one too. Minus A into A plus 2. So you can see. Make the job very easy now. So let's expand. And now, while expanding this, I'm going to have 2a plus 1 into a squared. What is the sum of this? It's going to be plus a minus 2. Good of Minus a squared minus 2a. Square by a plus 2 to a minus 2. So you get it now. Then we are going to have this one is going to be so we have two a plus a that is what three a minus two a that is what eight. What again? I have one minus two minus one divided by a plus two into a minus two. So you can see how easy it is. All you need is just make sure that you. Do not lose focus and look at into everything. Now let's work on this. To simplify 5 over 8 squared plus 3a minus 10. Minus 3 over 8 squared minus 2a. Minus 8 over 8 squared plus 5a. As I said before, just look for easy way to handle this thing. Let's factorize this. We can easily do that. Two numbers, 5 and minus 2. And that is a plus into a minus 2. Minus 3 over a is equal to a minus 2. Minus 8 over a squared plus a, sorry, a into a plus 5. So you can see, our LCM is this. Here you can see, our LCM is going to be a into a plus 5 into a minus 2. Now, this one from here is going to be a. So, we have a times 5, that's 5 a. Minus 3 into from this is 8 plus 5. 3 into 8 plus 5. Minus 8 into A minus 2. So let's put this out. This is 5 is minus 3 is minus 16. Minus 8 is plus 16. Over A into A plus 5 into A minus 2. Now, look at this. 5 minus 3a, that's 2a. Minus 8a, that is um, that's minus 6. Yes. Minus 6a. And this one is minus 15 plus 16, that is plus 1. Over a into a plus 5 into a minus 2. So you can see how easy it is. Once you factorize Make the job easy. I've just been getting the factor and multiplying where necessary, dividing where necessary. Now, I would like us to briefly discuss this equations, ratios, and substitutions in algebraic fractions. Equations, ratios, and substitutions. Concerning this, when we are talking about equations, we are talking about a situation where you can actually get a value for the expression written. Let's say, like, 2a. Plus 3y is equal to 4. You know, these are the equations. So, we also have situations like this in algebraic fashion. And in that situation, we might be able to find value for x, value for y, or what the expression is going to be at the end of the day. Let's quickly 
lookers turn to beauty. Let's call this example. On that equation. 8 over x plus 2 plus 3 over x plus 1 is equal to 3. You can see the equation. Now, we are asked to find, to solve this, to solve it. How do we do that? Very simple. Just like you do your normal algebra or normal fraction. This, uh, this equation now, you can multiply through finding the LCM and multiply both sides by the LCM. The LCM now of the denominator is x plus 2 into x plus 1. Simple way. You can do it any other way. Now, multiply through or multiply both sides by the LCM. Multiply through by the LCM. That's going to give me 8 into x plus 1 plus 3 into x plus 2. You know, this is the option. So it's equal to 3 into x plus 2 into x plus 1. Simple. Then, it's going to give us 8x plus 8 plus 3x plus 2 plus 6. We should be. Let me expand this. 3 into x squared plus 3x.
can do it in several ways. X to Y. You can write it as X over Y or A, depending on how you like it. Do you understand? Or you can find it all through a later on two calculations. Let's look at if you input X over Y A. Divide the numerator and denominator by Y. So we are going to have Over 2x plus 3. We'll 
will be modified when 2x plus 1 equals 0 or x minus 4 equals 0. So, it will be all defined then as all defined as x equals minus half or 4. Very easy and straightforward. It will be all defined as x equals half minus half or 4. So let's conclude with this. We have to find the point at which this will be all defined, all defined, and 0. So for, to get this to, the best thing is to factorize. The best thing is to factorize. So we have 2x squared minus 5x plus 2. Divided by 10x squared minus 34x plus 12. Bye for now.